Hello. Um, so this is Rules of the Road, part six. Expressed way driving. While expressway driving involves the same basic skills as driving on a secondary road, the increase in speed makes caution even more crucial. The severity of an accident increases dramatically at higher and higher speeds. Expressway hype, um, hypnosis. Traveling for long distances on straight way, roadways um, may make you drowsy or unaware of what is happening around you. There is an extremely dangerous situation. Um, concentrating is vitally important whenever you are behind the wheel. Make an effort to stay alert on the highway. At the first sign of drowsiness, don't just sit there and try and fight it. Pull over to the nearest road stop and service area, either walk around and stretch, take a nap, or if possible, change drivers. Don't depend on it. Stay awake of drugs, which are likely to make you drive make your driving even more hazardous. Entering. Most expressways are reached by an entrance ramp and an acceleration lane. The acceleration lane, which varies in length, enables you to get up to the speed of traffic before merging into the regular lanes. Before merging, use your rear view mirrors and look over your shoulder to ensure that the way is clear. Some entrances to some expressways do not have acceleration lanes. In this case, you should stop before entering, wait for a break in the traffic, then speed up and merge. Proceed carefully as cars um, which are already in the expressway are traveling very fast and do not have to yield for you. Do not impede the flow of traffic by pulling into the lane before you have built up some speed. Passing. You should be in the right hand lane at all times um, unless you are passing. Do not pass on the right. Sudden movements at high speed are very dangerous. Use your mirrors and check over your shoulder and make sure that the way is clear before passing. Mirrors alone are not sufficient due to what is known as the blind spot. If a car is directly behind you in an adjacent lane, it will not be visible in the side mirrors. Always notify other vehicles of your intent to pass by using the appropriate blinker. Safe passing depends on cooperation between drivers. Don't speed up when being passed, don't cut in too closely after passing someone. You should be several car lengths ahead before pulling back into the right lane. Never curve along in the blind spot of the vehicle next to you. Stop. Never stop on an expressway unless it is an emergency. If an emergency should occur, use the proper signal and pull off to the pavement uh, as far as the shoulder permits, raise your hood to signal you need it for assistance. Under no circumstances should you ever back up, walk, or stand on the traveled portion of the tra expressway. Exiting. To get into the right-hand lane well before reaching the exit, don't slow down on the main expressway. Rather, start slowing down as soon as you enter the deceleration lane and continue slowing at the beginning of the exit ramp. Slow down to the posted speed on the ramp or you may have difficulty getting around sharp curves. Conversation. Uh, passengers cars use more than 30% of all gas and oil used up in the United States. Driving with conversation in mind will not only save you money, conservation, conservation, not conversation, conservation. On a larger scale, it will help uh, minimize our country's dependence on foreign oil, reduce fuel shortages, and cut pollution. Do not drive faster than the speed limit. You can drive further on the same amount of gasoline if you drive at moderate speeds. <laughs> drive at a steady pace. Braking and accelerating frequently uses more energy. Keep windows closed at high speeds. Wind entering your car creates added wind resistance, which uses more gas. Store luggage inside your car. Items carried on your roof also create wind resistance. Don't carry excessive weight in your car. 100 extra pounds can cost up to one half a gallon uh, per mile. Avoid excessive idling. The average car uses a cup of gasoline every six minutes when idling. When you stop or start your car, don't idle for more than one minute. Take good care of your car. Getting tune-ups and oil changes when necessary will maximize your fuel efficiency. Combine short combine short trips if possible. Carpool with others to work, to school, 
Choose your car with fuel economy in mind. Large vehicles and larger engines generally use more gas. Automatic transmissions and power equipment also increase gas consumption. If you change your own oil, be sure to dispose of it properly with other home hazard waste, according to the community guidelines. Driving a bicycle not only conserves energy and reduces pollution, it is an excellent excuse that can help you stay healthy. Consider driving a bicycle when traveling short distances. Um, so that's it for this portion of my driving videos. Um, I have two more I can do for handling emergencies. Um, but that is it as far as rules of the road. So thanks for watching.